Okay, here we go. The Great Integration chapter continued. The 1960s also gave rise to the popularity of psychedelics in mainstream culture. LSD and psilocybin mushrooms catalyzed new shifts in consciousness in young people all across the U.S. The results varied, though overall I would say that it led to more people breaking cultural norms and thinking outside the box. In conjunction with this, shamanism began to rise in popularity as anthropologists discovered some of the tribal peoples who had preserved the ancient ways and sacred plant medicines. For example, researcher Gordon Wasson connected with the Mazatec indigenous people of Mexico and spread the knowledge of shaman Maria Sabina who taught the healing properties of psilocybin mushrooms. This led to many people experimenting with sacred mushrooms and potentially experiencing the profound healing and awakening of consciousness as a result. One final mi milestone in human consciousness took place in the 1960s. This was the birth of the environmental movement. Author Rachel Carson helped spark this stride to preserve wilderness and all Earth's creatures with her book Silent Spring. Another big step occurred on Christmas Eve of 1968 when U.S. astronaut William Anders took a photo called Earthrise from the moon. This image was sent back to our planet and had a profound impact on many people because it gave a sense of spaceship Earth suspended in outer space. Finally, we were able to see clearly that we are all in this together. With a backdrop of darkness and distant stars, we could now see our precious planet as one unified whole with no visible man-made borders. Overall, the 1960s were a decade of profound transformation in humanity's collective consciousness. Many seeds were planted, literally and metaphorically. Some of these continued to grow steadily, while others withered out, or perhaps went underground to sprout later. Let's fast forward to the 1990s with the birth of humanity's collective brain. Oops, I mean the internet. The internet has been both a cause and an effect of accelerated interconnection and integration. With this World Wide Web, many of the best solutions in every field of study can be cross-referenced, compared, and discussed between people anywhere on the globe. Two doctors looking for a disease, looking for a cure for a disease on opposite sides of the planet can now easily share data and even have a Skype chat. The times of trial and error and doing it alone are minimized because we are working to solve challenges more as a collective species. With the internet growing more connected every single day, it is clear that we are in the age of the great integration. All of these historical events, shifts in consciousness that I've highlighted can now be study, studied from anywhere on the planet at the click of a button. It is as if the human brain is growing new neurons and increasing in interconnectivity, which leads to even more awareness. Countless breakthroughs, inventions, collaborations, and miracles have come as a result of this World Wide Web. It is a priceless gift to have such an amazing tool and pool of resources and knowledge at our fingertips. Personally, I'm most blown away by YouTube and social media and how these two things have revolutionized the lives of billions of people. Whereas before the internet, you were lucky if you could find someone in your own hometown that shared the same interests as you. Now you can join a Facebook group or a chat room and connect with people 5,000 miles away who also love studying bird migrations or gluten-free cupcakes. Also, the sheer amount of data and content being created daily is astounding. 
Every single day there are 4 million hours of content uploaded to YouTube and 4.3 billion Facebook messages posted. With all this data streaming past us and into us every day, many would argue that we are becoming distracted from what truly matters. I can definitely see this trend as some toddlers are glued to their iPads as they, before they're in kindergarten. When so much around us is mediated, we can lose touch with the realities right before our eyes. Our planet is truly at a tipping point. Deforestation, species extinction, desertification, factory farms, topsoil loss, plastic pollution, climate change, and many more issues are getting worse every day. Pachamama is calling us to wake up from the mainstream strange dream, which has most people in a consumer's trance, which is devour, devouring her precious resources. The tribal peoples that never became civilized are reminding us that it's still possible to live in harmony with nature and reconnect to the web of life. These monumental times we are living in are calling forth the best in us. It's time to utilize all the information and resources available to us to transform our planet into a harmonious spaceship Earth that we all dream of. To do this, we've got to use our superpowers. So many solutions exist and are visible on the internet. It is simply a matter of implementing them on a mass scale. The world needs more web weavers, village builders, truth speakers, art makers, movers, and shakers. Are you going to answer the call? If you do, I can promise you it will not be easy. But you will be saying yes to a life of previously unimaginable beauty, adventure, magic, service, love, and transformation. You will be saying yes to one of the most important missions in human history, or her story, or our story. You will be saying yes to preserve and continue the magic of life for future generations. Let's do this. Aheaho metapiasin. For all for our for all our relations. Thank you for watching, listening. Once again, that is the great integration chapter from Unlocking Our Superpowers, which you can get on philolila.com if you're interested. Please share anything that that inspired within you. Please share this video with anyone who you think would resonate with the great integration. Peace.